Welcome back everybody, thanks for tuning in again. And today I have the General Giant 2014 Convention Exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon Mini Bust. Now this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive um, that I picked up this weekend or actually on Thursday. If you've seen my other video you know I already reviewed the NECA Predator um, Convention exclusive. So now I'm just going down the line and reviewing all the exclusives I picked up this year. So as, as you can tell also Rocket is a pretty small character in the Marvel Universe and this mini bust is approximately a 1-6 scale size so he comes out to about a 5 or 6 inch height. If anyone has the um, Yoda mini busts, either the 3D Yoda from WonderCon or the Empire Strikes Back Yoda, Yoda is actually a little bit smaller, um, or Yoda's mini bust I should say is a little bit smaller than Rocket Raccoon, so he, he is a fairly decent sized figure and a pretty good sized character as well in uh, the Guardians lineup. So before we get into the mini bust, let's take a look at the packaging and included cards. So if you visited uh, San Diego Comic Con this year and you went to the General Giant booth, you would have had the opportunity to, the opportunity to pick up these cards. They were at their uh, table or at their booth and kind of like promo cards for anyone to pick up. Let me get zoomed in on that for you guys to see. Basically a promo card just showing their uh, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram page as well as the uh, 3D systems and General Giant logo. And in the back almost like a trading card just showing Rocket Raccoon with all the logos as well. And then coming inside the box is the certificate of authenticity which all General Giant pieces come with. Um, you know it comes in the plastic sleeve. Just a simple card similar to the promo card except it's the actual COA and on the back just giving details of this particular item showing that it is the convention exclusive and the one that I picked up is number 494 out of 800. So it is only an 800 uh, run, not too big, not too small. Um, there have been some online available if you do get the PGM membership. So definitely take a look at that if you couldn't make the convention and I highly recommend already that you should uh, order Rocket Raccoon. And taking a look at the box as well, the front just shows the basic uh, image of Rocket. It does show him a little bit more grayish. I don't know if that's just from the photo or um, if that's maybe a earlier stage in the development process or a prototype. I'm completely fine once I get into the mini bust as well with how it looks. But you know, just showing that it might be a slightly different as some of the images are um, compared to the actual piece. And there's the side as well showing Rocket again. And the back side showing a little bio as well as the picture again of Rocket. The top shows the Guardians of the Galaxy with uh, Groot, Gamora, Drax, and Star-Lord as well as Rocket. And I'll go ahead and zoom in on the bio for you all to pause if you'd like to read that. And as well on the other side just another angle of Rocket. So that's about it and as well on the bottom showing the uh, number so you basically have three chances to check and make sure that your number is correct and it correlates with the box and the COA and the piece itself so never really any issue of you know losing track of which number you picked up. So as I said in the beginning as well Rocket is about a 1-6 scale size not too small not you know crazy big not you know one fourth even but I mean, it, just, it fits perfect right into anyone's collection. He's a great size. He's, he is a standout figure, even though, you know, he's not very brightly colored. But it's a rocket with a gun. <laughs> what, what more can you want from anything like that? I'm a big fan as well in comics and movies when, you know, creatures or animals are basically lifelike and human-like. And they are out there making a big name and a big presence in the stories. So let's get a closer look at Rocket right here. You have a very great detail on everything in this figure. I mean, just as close to a raccoon as you can get. But remember, don't call him a raccoon because Rocket doesn't like to acknowledge that he is one. So as you can see here, let's get a little close up. The face and the head is just amazingly sculpted. You can see the deep, the eyes, the very glossy right there to stand out. He has his teeth almost like a snarling or growling. You know, you can see all the sharp teeth right there. 
as well as he doesn't really have whiskers but you can see all the freckles around the nose and the fur detail in the hair is just flawless on this I mean General Giant has always done a fantastic job on their paint and their sculpt as well you know to have to give huge thanks to the uh, designers sculptors and painters who work on all these as every figure is uh, hand painted and I've yet to have a piece from General Giant that you know I've been disappointed with or have had issues with um, causing either a return or you know a disappointment in the line and you can see on the back here his I guess backpack or the more, more like a vest actually um, kind of the uh, glossy blue right there more flat gold and then the different grays some orange on the side here let me get that in view as well as you can see some orange underneath for the uh, I guess under vest or undershirt and more orange around here with I guess kind of a dirty dirty design or look to it um, just a little blacks and scrapes along it and at the bottom you can see some pouches and different just slight accessories that he carries around his waist and here is a close-up of his gun just great detail in that you can see the rust along the metal right here and that's the great thing about General Giant too they have so much attention to detail and so much focus on all their pieces that you know it's really hard to miss anything if you actually saw it in film and you didn't really get a good, good get a good glimpse or catch of the uh, character or his items and then you look at these pieces and you just see everything that you didn't see in the film so going back around you can see his tail and all throughout his body the kind of like the different variations and stripes and some black and brown on the tail there a little bit of a darker shade underneath the brown here and then the white and kind of brown on the nose right here more darker and lighter brown variations on the head and as well on the back of the ears it is I guess a little bit more gray on some parts um, you can see a little bit of gray back here on the ears and some on the edges of his face but you know like I said I'm very happy with the brown color um, he is very unique you know very standout figure in my collection and should be in your collection as well and another look at the bottom on the face right here and the attention to even the teeth and the mouth you can see the pink gums might be hard to see in the video but you can see all the pink right there his mouth isn't open enough to see a tongue or you know the inside but you can still see him growling and snarling so let's just hope Bradley Cooper does a great job for the film and I'm sure Guardians of the Galaxy will be a great film and there you have it everyone the San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive Rocket Raccoon by General Giant Thank you all for watching and please like and subscribe my pages and check out GeneralGiant.com or GeneralGiantLTD.com um, for all the mini bus in stock and some convention exclusives that you might be able to pick up still.